G'day mate, thanks for dropping by. Uh, going to do an unboxing of a new swag that uh, was just delivered recently. Okay, uh, on the carton, gives all the specifications of the swag and the weight in particular, only 13 kilos. We'll, do, uh, we'll open the box now. Right, inside we have a very large swag bag, a small uh, bag of 10 pegs, uh, the three hoop bars, two ridge poles, the included 70 mil mattress, and the swag itself. The swag bag is very large, which uh, with a very large zip and flap, which makes putting the swag away easy. On the two ends, a very substantial grab handles. The straps go all the way around the bag. So this is a very strong, sturdy bag to uh, hold the swag. This is a three hoop swag. Two of the hoops are the same size for the head and middle. The smaller one, which is marked foot, is at the foot end of the swag. The included mattress is wrapped in the factory and it recommends that you unpack and let it ex uh, expand naturally and can take up to 12 hours before it reaches its uh, final size. Sewn into the floor of the swag are two large belts and these are used to roll up the swag before you put it in the bag. There are windows at the head and foot end of the swag and there are guy ropes provided if you want to pick them out. Each of the Three hoops are threaded through a sleeve at the top of each peak. Each end of the hoops is threaded through the pin in each corner and in the middle. The ridge poles are threaded through the position provided on each of the sleeves and pulled apart and secured with the pressure clasp. There are four openings with insect screen and then over that is a flap. These flaps have grommets and you can stake it out like a veranda. There is in fact a 23-0 swag awning pole kit available. Um, you would need to get four of those kits, probably two would be adequate. When they're all zipped up, there is a cover over the zip area which would make it excellent in uh, rainy weather. Each of the four flaps can be rolled up and secured with a toggle. Each end likewise can be zipped up secured with a toggle. At the head end there's an outside canvas flap and then an inside mesh flap. The end can be stretched out and there are gussets to ensure that you can open the end flap even when it's raining. 
at the foot end there is no outside canvas flap there is an inside one that can be zipped up or opened and the, uh, the mosquito mesh cannot be opened it's sealed as the packaging states the open length is 2.15 meters long 0.9 of a meter wide and 890 mils from the base of the swag to the ridge pole. The 023 Bandit 900 is the smallest of the three in the range. There is an 1100 wide and a 1400 wide. They're all self standing. They can be pegged in and they can be placed on top of a camp stretcher or cot. So why did I pick 23-0 Bandit 900? Um, the three hoop arrangement is ideal, stop sagging, which the two hoop swag sometimes do. The other contender was the Darche Dirty D, but after looking at a few YouTubes, um, I believe this was the best value for money. I'll place some uh, links in the description uh, where people go into far more detail. And so thanks for dropping by and we'll see you next time.